Hello. Welcome to Dan Explains One More Thing About That Thing. Today we're here to talk about expression in float. It's probably simpler than you think it is. Basically, you can plug an expression controller into the expression jack, and you can have that control either the cutoff of the filter directly or the rate of the filter. As you move your expression, it'll move between whatever values you have set for the minimum and maximum of that parameter. It's really, I mean, that's it. You know, there's no external tap tempo. There's no MIDI. There's, there's not a ton happening except for expression control. I guess probably the most obvious thing you'd want to do is turn it into a wah. So let's do that. I suppose the first step to understanding expression in float is understanding how to assign it. So let's do that first. What I want the expression to control first is the cutoff of each of the filters. So to get into expression setting mode, I'm going to hold both foot switches for about five seconds until eventually the LEDs do a little dance. Now, to choose what control I want to assign expression to, I just have to wiggle it. So for filter one, if I want rate, I wiggle the rate knob. If I want cutoff, I wiggle the cutoff slider. So we're gonna wiggle cutoff for both filters one and two. Now to exit this calibration mode, just hold the foot switches again. And now we're back to floating. Let's use just filter one, and we'll just show how you can use expression to do a really classic filter sweep sound using a foot controlled expression controller. So that's over the full range of the filter. You can also limit the range that expression moves between by setting your minimum and maximum controls. So we'll hold the min toggle to the left and set our minimum not all the way to the bottom. Let go, now we're setting maximum and we'll move it not all the way to the top. So now we have a low pass filter that will sweep um, not all the way down and all the way up, but just as far down as you want and just as far up as you want, which will sound like this. <laughs> We can make it even more limited if we want. So that over the full sweep of your foot, it's really just moving a little bit. Okay, I was hoping it wouldn't do that thing, but I guess it still does that thing. But that's the basic idea of it. You can directly control the cutoff of a filter using your foot as you play. Uh, because we're, we're controlling the cutoff of both filter one and filter two, we could turn them both on. Uh, they're in parallel mono right now. Uh, let's do one as a low pass and the other as a high pass. And let's set their ranges to be the same. So we'll do the minimum about there maximum about here. And now because we have a high pass and a low pass together, we'll um, kind of get a full image of the signal, but with a lot of resonance in the middle as we uh, sweep the cutoffs with our foot. Uh, 
so that's how you can use a, a foot expression controller to coax some extra sounds out of float that you can't get with its internal envelopes or LFOs. Uh, there's a lot of interesting interactions but by using uh, both filters together that are more than just kind of your classic wah sounds, even though it does pretty well at those too. So I mentioned earlier that we could control the rate of each filter. Uh, let's get into that by again holding both foot switches and waiting for the LEDs to blink. And now we'll just wiggle both rate knobs. And now we're back floating again. So now we should be moving between the minimum rate and maximum rate, again, set by you or I. So let's do a rate, I don't know, around there, maybe higher then another rate that's like way high. And we'll go ahead and open up the filters to their full range. Let's see what that sounds like. Again, it's just a new sound you can coax out of float. Uh, manipulating those rates, you can do the kind of Leslie speaker type thing where you speed it up and slow it down. But with a sound like this where you have both filters in parallel, uh, it has a lot of phasiness to it. And the LFOs aren't synced, but they're at very similar rates. And those rates are being affected by expression. And uh, it's just really fun to, to sweep through those sounds. So if you wanted to automate that sweep, let's say you're basically putting an LFO on your LFOs, you could use something like the expression ramper. So now we're using the same expression settings, but uh, with the expression ramper, we can move between uh, an A setting and a B setting. So uh, to, to keep it clear, we'll go ahead and set A all the way down, we'll set B all the way up. And yeah, you'll see the, the lights kind of showing where along the sweep you are. So yeah, B will be our maximum, and then we'll set our rate somewhere. We'll play around with that. If I turn on the expression ramper, it will start moving between the slower rates and the faster rates. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> So again, expression, like so many elements of float, is really pretty simple when you get down to it. 
but you can find a lot of interesting new sounds once you really get familiar with what it does. Uh, so that's, that's it. That's uh, everything I know about the float. I hope you know some more now too.